Let's drink too many spirits while we talk about too many spirits. It's, it's too many spirits. Too many spirits. It's too many spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I turned into <laughs> Seth Rogen. This is the show. What's the show about, dude? Where we drink our drinks and read your spooky ghost what? stories. Oh, yeah. We're All filming right. four episodes, and guess what? This is the fourth episode. So if you're wondering why we're the way we are, I don't even know what the rest of that sentence is. As always, we'll be <laughs> a tasty <laughs> beverage prepared by our cocktail maestro, Stephen Lim. And this season, we're being joined by a real bona fide, <laughs> delicious cocktail making, beautiful man, brilliant, sexy. dude, sexy, Wonderful guy. dripping with charisma. He's dripping with it. And, and the host of Worth the Shot, his name is not Stephen Lim, it's Ricky Wayne. Oh God, <laughs> now it's all gone to his head. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Ricky. I can't take this anymore. What? This is not Sticky's bar. It's this, not is not? this is Steve's bar. That's right. We're back, baby. Oh, Steve's back. Oh, he was here yeah, the whole yeah, time. Yeah, and you know what this drink is called? You made this drink up. What's the drink called? Uh, this drink is called a Boo Lavardier. Uh, I don't like it. You know what? what? Change it. Change it. I'm calling it Stevens Boulevard, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> Ricky, you go, and I will tell you how to make this drink. All right, here we go. We got Campari. Very simple. Okay. I'm sure Look, it will you've become been complicated. Keeping Steven hinged. Okay, and the director, Annie. What? No, Annie. No more. I will not listen to you direct me. Oh, oh Jesus I mean, Christ. you didn't listen to her before, really. <laughs> but let's be real. I'm the star. It's my show. Right. Campari. Measure. <laughs> Did you just short circuit? I just thought about measuring for a second. Oh, no. That's oh, a lot. that's a lot. Yeah, right? that's a lot. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, God. Thank God. I thought that was soy sauce or something for a second. Here, open this up. Uh, nice <laughs> <bell. Burble. laughs> is there a bug on There's me? There's a bee on your neck. There's a bee on my okay, neck? Don't panic. I sent that bee to you. Don't panic. There's a bee it's, on it's my neck. It's crawling into your jacket. I don't want to piss it off. Piss it off! There's a bee! Oh, it's crawling in your jacket! It's in your jacket! It's in your jacket! Oh, fuck! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's on you! Oh no! I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, back to the show. We also have sweet vermouth. Thank you, sweet Ricky, vermouth. for opening this bottle. I really appreciate it. Watch it dribble down this spoon thing. Ready? What? Hold dance, baby. Oh, sugar bowl. <laughs> actually kind of visually pleasing, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. It does look like rain. It oh, looks like a yeah. rainfall. Ricky, actually, you might want to take some pointers from him on this one. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I like that. Yeah. Maybe I will. It's like a I little hate... alcohol thunderstorm. Yeah, I hate Ready? to admit it, but that was nice. Yeah. We're back, Ricky! Oh, God! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Threw an iceberg at him. I if you did that at a bar, I think you'd get fired. We're back! No, 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 no. <laughs> Steven, put the bucket down. Steven, all I've been is supportive of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's turned into the Joker. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. We're spinning twice. I guess that kind of makes sense. And now we strain. We're gonna use this to scoop <laughs> ice out. What the fuck are you scoop talking about? Ice of? out and throw it at Ricky! <laughs> 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 what the fuck, dude? Ricky! Don't pour Ricky on Jesus Christ! You know what? A little ice never hurt anybody. I guess. And that is Stevens Boulevard. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh my God. Oh, shush. Your turn. I'm. Uh, Ricky, are you okay? In shock. Well, I'm glad Watcher has good lawyers because I feel like we're going to get sued by Ricky after this episode. Should I even mention that we should garnish this with a flaming orange peel? Oh, I, mine's good. Mine's good. Why don't you take it away? So, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little shooken up. Um, I, you know.
Whoa! <laughs> Don't put the match inside of it, you. Unbelievable. Guys like a the puppy. The Boulevardier. It was good. Stevens Boulevard. He wants to say Stevens Don't Boulevard, do it. but you in my get paid. heart, if you I... want to get paid, Ricky, you're gonna say Stevens Boulevard. That's not true. I'm, that is not true. Stevens Boulevard. Jesus Christ. Just say it. Just, just, just say it. Stevens Boulevard. That's right. And the world is a worse place. Wow, that looks like a good drink. Steven, bring shit. it to us, please. And he showed his true colors. Steven's got the drip too, right? I think he's got the leak. <laughs> What? <laughs> He's got the leak. <laughs> He's got the seat. He's got All right, for the last one, I'm gonna think of a number between one and ten. The closest one gets. How do I know Ricky's you're not gonna drink. just fucking game it? Go. Then. Eight. Look at me. Look at me. Bring your head closer. Hey, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Two. It was two. That's bullshit! That is bullshit! Was he was two. gaming the system! It was two. He just got mad you. because I said he poops his pants. Appreciate you, Steven. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Spooky. That was okay, spooky. thank you, Steven. This looks like blood. While Ryan All gets right, his- while dude. Ryan, oh, whoa, whoa, he's oh, going shit. mobile! He's going Andy, mobile! the director! Oh, 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 my name is Steven. I make horrible drinks. Look at you go. And Shane. Well, you could have said my name. All right. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> it tastes like is it, shit. No, is, it bad? <laughs> is it bad? Oh, God. Take a sip of this. It's terrible. <laughs> well, he put a lot of the red stuff in, right? It tastes like cherry personified. It tastes like red. <laughs> Steven, that's the worst. That is. You horrendous! Ever made. This Steven. tastes like someone melted a red Crayola and put it in the cup. That's so bad. Honestly, that's a bingo for me. <laughs> hey. Okay, look, folks. If you're playing at home, it's the last episode, but we have these too many spirits bingo cards. Start from the top of the season. Go to Patreon.com/watcher. Get your own card. Uh, I got a bingo. Drink is bad. Zero out of ten. Ryan's gonna take a pickleback. <laughs> I will take a pickleback. <laughs> right. Good. Get them ready. You you gotta take it with me though. No, I got the bingo. I choose. You said you would take a pickleback. <laughs> I lied. You fucking liar! Uh, actually, I didn't even try mine yet. Oh, that's delicious. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Oh, that's so good. God, that's that really last good. drink was straight up booty juice. Booty juice. What'd you call me? I said your drink was straight up hot booty Bring juice. Bring it on. It's booty juice limb. It was ultra hot booty juice. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, Whoa. what is this? Where's he going? This, this is, is your for the bingo. This is your beverage for the bingo. But you said you would do one with me. No, I lied. You said you would do one with <laughs> me. Yeah, but I got bingo before you did. Wait, hold on. I gotta do wait, this. Wait, wait. You don't have to drink that, right? Yeah, he right. does. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, okay, it's freaky. It still smells like alcohol. So you're trying to dementor that shot. Oh, right, well, there he goes. Cocktail. <laughs> Why the liquor? Wine and spirits. Are they even sp watching this episode, Stephen? Hi there! It's the fire again, summoned one more time by our sponsor for today's episode. They just couldn't get enough of me this season, and can you blame them? <laughs> But I'm not the only hot commodity around here, because today's sponsor is Hunt a Killer. Hunt a Killer is a subscription box game where you can settle in for a cozy night with friends and solve a murder. Each box comes complete with puzzles, ciphers, and evidence that you can use in order to narrow down suspects. And just like real detective work, players get to establish the means, motive, and opportunity for each suspect until the killer is found. Subscribers get a new box sent straight to their door each month. And every six boxes, there's a brand new murder to solve. There's also all-in-one options for more flexible players that aren't ready to commit to a full subscription. Hunt a Killer is a great way to spice up date night or the perfect gift for your friend that loves true crime. There's even an online community of over 100,000 players ready to solve the mysteries together, spoiler free. 
Hunter Killer has collaborations with Nancy Drew, Agatha Christie, and Blair Witch, so you know everyone's in for a good time. Don't wait. Head to the link in our description and use code WATCHER for $10 off your purchase. Thank you again to Hunter Killer for sponsoring this episode. And now, back to the show. We gotta rate the drink. Steven's drink was like negative it's one. It's like a zero, right? I negative just, one. I no, a zero, zero is not strong enough. It's negative. It tasted it's like the negative. color red. I would give Ricky's drink a solid nine. You know, it's like, Woo! yeah, it's good. Make me, oh, that makes Woo! me, that makes me wanna, oh yeah, that's good. I mean, when we do that again, let me go. It's like a fraction of the R2-D2 yell. Woo! Woo! So, let's get to our stories and then to conclude things, obviously we'll answer our phone for the final story and then we'll eat a, a, a lemon like an apple. Oh my God. Yaka, okay. yaka, yaka, do you ever Why don't you start? Shut up! Then start your fucking story. You start, I started last time. Okay, this is from Gemstone. <laughs> <laughs> you went into this. <laughs> this is from Gemstone9 on Tumblr. In college, I worked tech in the theater department. A lot of theater stories. No one likes a bragger, <laughs> you know what I mean? And there were some strange rules. One of those rules was that we weren't allowed to touch rope 13. Why did they have so many ropes? Was there like an overhead rigging system? Yeah, it's a, th yes, you've described a theater. Yeah, but that's a lot of ropes. Yeah, there's a, yes. 13, that's how big was this theater? There's ropes. We're there's talking ropes. about a, what, a high school production? 13 sure, ropes? there's ropes. There's not 13 there's ropes. There's 13 ropes. Chime bullshit. off in the comments if you've seen 13 I think I'm ropes. I'm calling bullshit, there's no way. Hush. You hush. Theater people tend to be pretty superstitious. <laughs> so I didn't think anything of it when they first told me the rule. But, you know the thing about um, the Scottish play? Gross. You know that? <laughs> the Scottish one? play. Which one, Macbeth or something? Yeah. You can't say that in a theater. You can't say the word Macbeth. I'll do it. But, Macbeth. Not, you can't just say Beth. Macbeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in a uh, my favorite play is Shakespeare's Beth. Hi, I'm Beth. This is my play. Shakespeare wrote Hi, it. Hi, my name is Ryan Bergar. I'm going to do a monologue today from Beth. <laughs> We're in a play right now. We're on a stage. Yeah, this is fully scripted. We're treading the bricks. But, 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 but after a couple weeks of working there, rope 13 started to wiggle, spin around. <laughs> <laughs> No one had touched it or was even near it, and the rope just started to swing around in this big circle. Can you imagine just a janitor? What the fuck's going on up here? <laughs> He's climbing it? He's just like pulling it down. What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The oddest part about it was that the swing didn't start small or gradually. It went from stone still to suddenly going in a big arc. I love the, the specificity There's of this We've been on the rope for so long. And it kept swinging like that <laughs> for 15 minutes. Wait, we're still talking about this rope? The story, Ryan, is about the rope. I hate to break it to you. Well, I, I don't it. think we'll ever stop talking about this rope. Oh, I'm at the end of my rope. It never slowed down the whole time. Then one of my buddies walked up to the rope so he could grab it and stop it from swinging. Nice. What happened to the buddy? Did he get pulled into hell? <laughs> Jesus. Speak! What happened to the buddy? <laughs> but the moment he touched the rope, he collapsed. <laughs> Turned out he had a stroke. Oh my god! What the fuck? I don't know if the rope did that. That's the end of the story. I, I, I'm, maybe I'm, look, maybe I'm just in the mood tonight. That's a 10, it's a, it's a great story. That rope scares me. Look, man, just cause you think I'm drunk, I'm gonna give this a good, good rating. And uh, I'm not, it's a five. We disagree on this, but we're still friends. We, we do disagree, but we're still friends. Just like I think Disneyland is a better park than Disney World. Come here. I think Disneyland's a better park than Disney World. Nobody cares about that. I think everyone cares. <laughs> I think everybody cares about that. Nobody cares. You knocked my hat off. Nobody cares. 
Uh, I hope your friend was okay. Oh, I'm, I'm Lauren's pointing at something. We just gotta point out that Ryan's it's eyes a... are definitely at half mast. <laughs> Ryan's <laughs> eyes are at half mast. Oh, stuttered myself. Double square. That's where's a double my, bing. That's a. I'm fucking... getting close to a bingo. You wait. You got a bingo already. I thought. I already got one, but I'm on. Well, <laughs> I'm on my way. Moth. Oh, it's like a little face. It's like the face, you know, like the. You know, it's like dot under, like just a line dot. Dot, line, dot. Moth, that face, loser. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to to give so much emphasis on the loser. I'm sorry. Moth, loser. <laughs> Instagram. My friend has a ghost that literally just chills in her house. Yeah, that's all ghosts do. I mean, just chilling. Yeah, JC. You imagine, oh God, it would be the fucking best EVP. Why do you still remain in this house? And then just, just chilling. Chilling. Just fucking vibing, dude. Sweet digs. That's why I'd stick around. One time we were in gossiping in her room at night and it started flickering the lights. And she just told it, can you fucking not? The light stopped flickering. And then a minute later, the toilet flushed, even though the bathroom was empty. Hello, oh, no. That's it. That's it. This sounds like a classic sort of college ghost story where they're like, Do ghosts take shits? Oh, well, okay. Do this ghosts is... fuck? <laughs> okay. You ever this... think about that? Like, does a ghost Whoa. see another ghost and it's like, Hey, that ghost is I'd fine love to as take hell. you for a date and get to know you. They go on several dates and after that, enjoy a beautiful friendship and love and then consummate. They go on, okay, boopid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. I like that. You ever think ghosts bump uglies? Yeah, two ships right. passing in the night. Yeah. Two you... sheets passing in the night. <laughs> <laughs> I just never thought about that until never right thought now. about that. That's all I want to think about now. That's all you want to think about. I like that one. I give it a six. I'm going to give six. that it's one a solid uh, six. For me. six. It's a six. It's That's a, a six. six. It's a six. When you see a six, you know a six. That's a six. Next story. This is from Lisa Lorraine on Facebook. I think my husband is a doppelganger. What? Lisa said that, not me. The idea of doppelgangers has freaked me out for a long time, and I was telling my husband the origins of this when all of a sudden the power went, the power went out. <laughs> <laughs> it was at night, so it was pitch black. I had to go to the bathroom and continued to talk to him because our place is very small. But he went silent. I couldn't see him and said his name twice. Still, no answer. Oh shit. Is he a ghost? I came out of the bathroom and finally he spoke, but I am suspicious because it was long enough for a doppelganger to switch him out. Plus, the timing of the blackout was too spooky. And now I will never know if he is my real husband. He does not appreciate this theory. LOL. This person is crazy. <laughs> don't say that. Lisa, we don't think you're crazy. I think, I think you're crazy. Hey, Lisa, real talk. Your husband is a doppelganger. Get out of the house. <laughs> Get out of the house. Could you imagine? Could you imagine, Shane? You come home from Watcher HQ. And you get home. You open the door. You put the key in the lock. You open the door. And you're just like, long day at work. And you just see Sarah sitting behind the table. Shane, I think you're a doppelganger. <laughs> I wouldn't blame her. I what? Would, I'd try my best. I'd be like, no, nah, it's me. Let me prove it to you. It's me. Let me juggle. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> Let me juggle and, you know, <laughs> tell you about my puppet songs. And she would be like, that's be like, exactly yeah, that's, what a Shane you. doppelganger would do. I, I guess then would I do what I wouldn't do? No, she would say, I have one, in, I have one question for you. Yeah. What is it? What is Ryan Bergara's favorite fast food item? The real Shane would know that answer. Is it the tacos from the Jack in the Box? Or is it the cheesy good goo goo? I don't know. Or if you were the real Shane, you would know the answer. Tacos from Jack in the Box. That's correct. Okay. Great. That is correct. <laughs> I give that one an eight. That's an eight in my bones. That's an eight. That's uh, an eight. It's an eight. I'll give that a, a fucking uh, seven. That's like, that's Hitchcock, baby. It's still a seven. I respect Don't that. Don't push it. Don't tell me that I'm pushing it by giving it. it an honest Don't rating. Don't push it. Don't push it. You missed. Tell, tell a story. 
This comes from Sor Juanas on Tumblr. <laughs> what is in this? I don't know. Here we go. I'm staying at this weird hotel, and every time I go to the reception, there's this old lady knitting. Yeah. And she tells me that her husband jumped off a plane D.B. Cooper style once and that he's in a different universe now. <laughs> okay, I love this. I'd love to check into this place. Last night, she knocked on my door and screamed at me, you are not from this universe, and started running. This, this theme this season of interdimensionality, I'm a big fan. All of our users... Users. All of our users have con consulted with Kevin Feige. We're in the multiverse. Now. Oh, yeah, baby. Spider, we're sp spider verse. It was creepy. Yeah. Because she was fast. <laughs> and old. Yeah. And that's an awful combination. I that's agree true. with that. One time. What? Where are you going? This is not ageist. It's no. not. We love the elderly. We love them so much. It's we love not. the elderly. I was at Venice Beach. And you know how they have the muscle beach area where they're like people working out? They got big, big muscles over there. They look like human clouds. <laughs> they do. Like those clouds from Mario, but they flesh They look colored. like Lego people. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. There, was a, there was an old man. He was like 77 years old. Yeah. And he had like pristine, like six pack abs, but the rest of him was wrinkly. Ugh. And it disturbed me. Now listen, and again, not being ageist, when the elderly have abs, I get upset. <laughs> <laughs> this morning she apologized to me and offered me cookies. That's <laughs> Is that the end? That's it. Ooh, I could go for some cookies right that now. Yeah, of course we could. That took the edge off. I wish they'd gotten out on fast and old. <laughs> it's a four. It's, it's a four a, for me. It's going to be a six for me. I'm going to actually bump it up. I, I apologize. To a five because elderly plus agility equals oh, horror. Be old. Please be old. Sag, won't you? Dude, when I'm old, oh man. Oh my God, I'm going to be a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let me do this. You're going to log bro this? You fucking... Okay, oh, no, fuck. you're not going to log I could do that. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, you're not a good log bro. You're not a good log, bro. Bingo square. That's a bingo square? What is Well, you're a bingo log square, dude. Shane criticizes Ryan's log broing. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. I have a bingo. Oh. Hey, look who's doing a fucking pickleback shot now, big boy. Wait, I have a bingo, too, so I can negate it, actually. No, you can't. No, you can't. Yeah, it's That's there. That's not how it works. This is the part where we sober up. I just want to jack the box. That's a good log, bro. I have a hey, feeling- dude, that was a good log. That's a good log. Look at it go. I have a feeling the shots are on their way. Steven, unfortunately, we both have to take pickle shots and read one more story. Wait, Shaquille O'Neal? Dude, is this <laughs> Shaq? <laughs> Holy shit, I'm fucking... just kidding. It's just Steven. Fuck! <laughs> Come on in here. Why are you giggling so sinister-like? <laughs> Thank you. I present to you. Oh shit. Okay. Look at that squat. Wait. Look at that squat form. This guy works out. The final story. You can't see the camera, but uh. We end our pickleback supplies. You've both bingoed, which means you both take a shot. But I will say, Shane, it does neutralize it. Does it? It does. I hope so. It doesn't look great. Wait, take a dead. <laughs> oh. oh. I don't think that's the right one. Okay. To Franship. To Franship. We've think... barely spent any time being fancy men in this season. I you gotta, you gotta do the whiskey first, man. What are you doing? Exposing my microphone. <laughs> to Franship. <laughs> to Franship. It does neutralize it. it. Neutralizes the it, shit out of it. Are you sure that's not just pickle juice? Is that actually moonshine? I mean, you can chug the jar right now. If I don't you want, want to. the jar. I want it in my possession. Yeah. Because it's very good. It's really good. Yeah! yeah! I'm feeling friendly Let me look today. at this. Let me look at this. It's nice. 
Let's zoom on, guys. Yeah. Final story. And then we're going to bite. We're going to eat a lemon like it's an apple. That's right. We're going to bite into it like it's a juicy, juicy Fuji. And we're not even going to... We're going to act like we're eating an apple, That's too. right. It's going to be exactly... You won't even fucking be able to You tell. won't know. Wait a second. I got an idea. Yeah. Is there a story in there? There it is. <laughs> Can you imagine if every time you had an idea, a little piece of paper appeared under your hat? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It'd be good. <laughs> Boobs69420 hey! from Twitter. For the final story? That's a bingo. That's another. That's, a, that's actually another, another bingo for me, but I'm not going to make you take. <laughs> I'm not going to make you take the, another shot. Whatever, loser. Okay, then take a shot. Here. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Eat a pickle. No, you eat a pickle. Eat a full dude. pickle. You, you eat a pickle. No, I got dude. a bingo. You said no. whatever, loser. Eat I, a pickle. It doesn't matter. You can't double bingo me. Eat you a, can't no, double. I'm, I'm double bimboing you. Eat a pickle. Eat a pickle. Whole thing. Right not, now. Not eat the whole thing. You called me a loser. <laughs> I said, as a friend, I said, I'm not going to make you do you this. You called me a loser. Eat it. You got to eat whole a thing. fucking full bingo. Whole thing. Now. Whole thing. Now. You're stalling. You're stalling. I'll take a bite. My challenge is for you to eat the whole thing right now. More. More. Whole thing. More. Have another bite. Nope. Have another bite. Have another bite. So close. Have another so bite. Close. Have another bite. <laughs> Read the story. I have paintings. Prints of ladies up on my wall. <laughs> the lore of boobs 69 420 just in, just growing richer and richer every season cuz you know i'm a lesbian sure and every now and then i wake up and some of them are upside down okay either i have a homophobic art critic ghost or i do it while i'm asleep entirely possible sometimes i go for sleepwalk strolls outside Yes. And that's the end of the story. Well, that's a concerning last line. <laughs> what if I slept, walked, and like worked out? Laundry and shit. Yeah, that's the best. Wash dishes. Right, yes, chores. All right, I give that one. Boobs. boobs I'm just, I I, I'll just say. Boobs, I love you. Boobs, I love you. I'm a little concerned because you're sleepwalking at night. And, and I don't think this was your best material, but. Well, I mean. Obviously, M. Night's not going to knock it out of the park every time. Tapestries. Maybe it's not something that makes us stand up in the theater and shout, yes, yes, M, M. That's right. Sometimes it's a beach that makes people turn into raisins. Well, that movie's great. But. Sucks. But. It's a six. It's a six. <laughs> but, and that's not, a dis that's not disrespect. No, wait. I'm sorry. I'm getting a seven. Sorry, it's then, a seven. I think it's a six for me. I it's, think a it's a six, six for you. Watch out for yourself. I hope you're all right. Take care of that. And then maybe take some melatonin or some B6 or whatever. If you want to be sweaty, it makes me if sweat wanna, like a If you want to sweat like a dog. I think that takes us to like a like gorilla. A, like, a, like a gorilla looking at a, a 10-hour montage of bananas. <laughs> okay. Speaking of yellow fruit, Ryan, go get us two lemons. Two lemons. There's actually a lemon tree Wait, let me here. limbo this shit. You probably shit. can't even see it. It's all the way back there. Oh. Oh, fuck. I guess the guy can't limbo. No. You couldn't limbo this. Yeah, I think I can. No, you fucking well, can't, can. dude. You can't limbo that. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, no, you're touching it. You're touching okay, it. Okay, I can't. I just don't want to fall. Go get the lemons. <laughs> yep, Catch throw it right to me. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Right in the popcorn <laughs> bag, buddy. Okay, these look good. Now, these are wild lemons. These are, and I'm regretting this now because this feels really hard. This Ryan feels <laughs> yeah, really, really hard. It does, but we, <laughs> this Ryan, we committed to this. I want you to know that I'm going to be taking a big, I'm going to take bite. a big ass apple <laughs> bite from this <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. shit. Okay, Cheers. There's got to be some vitamins in there. Folks, thank you for going on the journey with us this season. This is the obvious natural conclusion to season five of Too Many Spirits. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> Apple Man. I, I've never done this before, and Neither I'm so I. happy that I'm doing this and with me you. Me too, man. Are you ready? <laughs>
Oh, brother. And I'll say this once. Yeah, and I'm listening. And I'll I'm say listening this. every time you say I'm it. I'm gonna take a big fucking <gasps> yeah, bite, Yeah, me too. too. I can't wait to show you what bite I'm gonna take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna lean forward because I don't want to get juice on my pants. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Could someone count us down? I got you. Okay, okay. Steven's gonna count us down. Three, two, one bite. <laughs> it's bitter. It's very sour. <laughs> wow, I think you took a bigger bite than I. Well, I don't know. My lemon's a little bigger. Your lemon's bigger. a little bigger, yeah. And it's about the same. You know what? The rind? Delicious. Rind's not bad. You know what? It's kind of good. <laughs> That's I'm good. good. That's I'm straight up good. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's really good. Well, I. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, <laughs> that's been too many spirits. <laughs> I suppose we'll see you next season. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks for joining. <laughs> I'm in love. I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. <laughs>